Hello, welcome to Ecopia Solar Scholar. My name is Nivra Mottimila, and today I'd like to talk to you about soiling analysis and measurement in the real world. Contrary to popular belief, if you have your feet in the oven and your head in the freezer, on average, you do not feel fine. When designing a solar site, one of the key parameters used to determine location applicability and, later on, cleaning costs and frequency is average soiling. Most research done into soiling gives you an annual review and a daily soiling loss by average. Unfortunately, soiling in the real world is not that simple. Soiling in solar site is not uniform on any axis. The edges of the site versus its center the upper part of the panels versus the bottom. August and April might have completely different types of soiling altogether. This usually leads to a few misconceptions. Having six months of no soiling and six months of 2% soiling loss does not equal a daily loss of 1%. The accumulated soil during the bad months will lead not only to power loss, but also to damages on the panels from hotspots. Cementation and caking can damage the coating and even cause accelerated wear of inverters. A completely clean year, except for one dust storm, might average into a less than 0.1% of daily soiling. But following the storm, the power loss might be 30% until the site is cleaned, and the damage to the panels and inverters is significant. It seems that even if only your finger is in the oven, you will still get burnt. Panels near the site's edge or road can have over 250% more soiling loss than panels nested mid-row. So even in the event of local testing in the desired region, in an external field, you might still be misled into thinking your problem is much more manageable. Ever since 2013, Ecopia has been monitoring soiling loss in various methods and locations in order to learn the required cleaning solutions and patterns. Proper monitoring requires multiple testing points across the site, or at the very least, recognizing the most problematic point and working accordingly. When looking into soiling readings, you need to take into account seasonality and types of soil. Preferably, bring some of the dust, sand, or particles to test. Some soiling might be harder to clean than others. Admittedly, with a robotic cleaning solution, you can get daily cleaning at no added cost, so that's less of a hassle. But when designing a site, and in order to achieve proper visibility, remember that relying on averages is a mean mistake, as there is always some variance. <music>